Herbity RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to map an Xbox controller on RetroPie. So let's get started. All right, so here I have my Xbox controller. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to jump into my main menu. Now I need to do that with a gamepad controller that's already been set up or with a keyboard. If this is your first time setting up any controllers on RetroPie, then you're going to be able to access this next screen right as soon as you boot up your RetroPie image. But since I've already set up other controllers, we're going to jump into our main menu. So I'm going to just grab my keyboard over here. I'm going to open up main menu and we're going to navigate down to configure input. So we'll select that option. It's going to ask us to confirm it. We're going to select yes. And then here you're going to notice it says one gamepad detected. That's because this Xbox controller, which you can see has a wire right here. This is connected via the USB connection on my Raspberry Pi 4. So I can hit any button on here. It's going to flash the name of this controller into the bottom of this rectangle here and bring us right into our configuring page. So I'm going to hold down the B button. You can see there it says generic Xbox pad and it brings us into our configuring page. So this is where we're going to map the controls here to the functions on the screen. So the first option is D-pad up. We're going to go to our D-pad and hit up. D-pad down, we'll hit D-pad down. D-pad left, we'll hit D-pad left. And D-pad right, we'll hit D-pad right. So now for start, we're going to map start to our start button here. You can use whatever button you want in the center of your Xbox controller. And depending on which version you have, you know, it might look different than what I have right here. So I'm going to use this button as start, this button over here as select. And now for A, B, X, and Y, this is where it gets a little confusing for people because if you look at the way it's labeled here on an Xbox controller, we have B, A, and then up at the top is Y, over on the left is X. If you look at the screen here, you're going to notice that the diagram to the left of each of these button assignments looks very different than what we have here. So on the screen, it's labeling this button as A, but here you can see on our Xbox controller, it's labeled as B. So we're not going to go off of the way that it's labeled here. We're going to go off of the button that's highlighted in that little diagram there. So we're going to ignore, you know, A, B, X, and Y. We're going to just go off of the diagram. So for button A, we're going to hit B on our gamepad controller. And you can see on that little diagram next to the labeling, it's highlighting this button right here, which again is our B button on the controller. So I'm going to hit B button here. So for B button on the screen, we're going to hit our A button on the controller. Again, look at that diagram. Next, we're going to do the X button, which on the screen is up here, which on our gamepad is Y. We're going to hit that button. And then for Y on the screen, we're going to hit our X on the controller right here. That's the only confusing part about this. So everything from this point on is going to be pretty straightforward. So for left shoulder, we're going to hit our left shoulder over here. For right shoulder, we're going to hit our right shoulder over here. For left trigger, we're going to hit our left trigger. And for right trigger, we're going to hit our right trigger. Now for left thumb, we're going to hit left thumb in. Right thumb, we're going to do our right thumb in. And for left analog up, we'll go up. Down, we'll go down. Left, we'll go left. Right, we'll go right. Same thing on the right hand side. Right analog up, right analog down. Right analog left, right analog right. And for hotkey, typically you're going to go with the button that you assigned as your select button. And all that means is that when you're in a game, you're going to hit select and start at the same time to activate the hotkey enable function, which exits you from your game and brings you back to your game collection menu. So if you have extra buttons on your particular Xbox controller, you could assign that to the extra button. I'm just going to assign it to select. And now to confirm everything, we're going to hit our B button over here. And once you get backed out to your main menu like this, you can test this out by going up and down and um, you know just see if you're able to actually move your selection. But we'll hit the A button to back out and you can see that we're able to jump through our different collections now. Let's jump into one game real quick and just test this out. And I always go into um, PlayStation here just because this particular game, which is Tekken 3, is super easy to jump into. It's really quick and we can get a good feel for you know, whether this is working or not. So we're going to jump into Tekken 3. Round one, fight! <laughs> You win. 
Round two. Fight! Alright, so you can see from this video, super easy process to get your Xbox controllers mapped on RetroPie. The only confusion, of course, is with those A, B, X, and Y buttons, but this video should show you exactly what you need to do to get everything up and running and into your games seamlessly. So that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to the RetroPie Guy YouTube channel because I do a ton of different videos on here based on retro gaming, uh, product reviews, tutorials, gameplay demos, Bunch of great stuff on here. Best way to stay in the loop, of course, is to hit subscribe. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.